hear no Prince Charlie. Renounce magic, I tell you! Shut up! <laughs> Greetings. <coughs> I remember you. Greetings. Thank you. <coughs> I don't want oh, anything to do with you. Barbarian. Ah. How are you? I'm Geralt. Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste.
It's not too late to repent. Hmm, nothing special. You are to guard the camp like it's the Emperor's... Look who's here, the Rivian Witcher. Greetings. Our paths cross often, it seems. Too often. What do you seek here? Chris Marigold. In the Nilfgaardian camp? Fistek has addled your brain. Uh-uh. Oh! <laughs> Lower your sword, son. You've got cheek, Geralt. Let's go. Get One false commander. move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you, Your Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold F. Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you Marigold. Then he'll die. No. Uh... Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him, for we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you. What are you waiting for? Get him!
Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Onuka! <laughs> the Imperial Army's ranks are endless! Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? She has information that's very important to me. Ah, that I understand. You're exceptionally reasonable for a Nordling. Thanks. It means a lot to hear you say that. It should, because I in turn have information about her, which you may find interesting. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! <laughs> Forward! 
Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know of the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Demaven's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. I'm a member of the Lodge, just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip was not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselt or Radovid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demaven. That was the last time I was invited. After Demaven's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Cairn's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirn. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed, it's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Lochmuin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. 
Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Who had Voltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavent's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavent was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorville? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanid Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Guardians. That's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all. They didn't slaughter themselves. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry. I'll manage. See you at the talks. All right.
special. Hey, at your service. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. The Wild Hunt? A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny its occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. The black cat <laughs> and the bat. Surviving son of a cunt, his cocksucking motherfucking majesty. Excuse me. Oh, <coughs> pardon me, sir. I meant no offense. Mm. You're leaving the deliberations. Why? Hanselt! He used to have all Eden where to live in a cat when a yoke! Scandalous! No one opposed him? None! Radovid drools for Tameria, and will let that lout have anything in exchange. The North will never be the same again. I must return home. Farewell. Roach had murder in his eyes. He wanted blood and couldn't care less that it was royal, that this was what Letho would have wanted. The death of a king is the triumph of chaos, civil war, famine, fear among common folk, a time of disdain. That is the only reason Henselt remains alive and Kedwen grows stronger. Thousands of Kedwenis live better lives because their ruler is an amoral, ruthless son of a bitch who stands above the law. So, even the Nilf Guardians have graced us with their... We're about to witness a great event. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tameria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. Tameria has yet to speak its last. Vernon Roach, commander of your Fallen King Special Forces, was responsible for today's massacre in the Kedweni camp. Has he been captured? He fled. Our people are on his trail. Lesser incidents have culminated in war, Constable. Roach acted on his own behalf. 
This illustrates precisely why Temeria cannot be left to fend for itself. The result would be anarchy and chaos. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you shall be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Mary Gold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanzerville will be condemned to death. <laughs> Sheila de Tanzerville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> 